Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, how are we all doing? So, you may have seen from A, the title and the thumbnail, I am coming in at you with something very, 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 very fun for today. Something different. I have been going through the worst reading vlog of my whole entire reading life, honestly. I have been picking up books and not finishing them. I've been reading first chapters of books and not wanting to read any of them. I have been prioritising YouTube and watching TV over reading and, excuse me, it just needs to stop. So, I thought of this video concept just for laugh, to be honest with you, because it's sort of running in together, some of my favourite things, and from one of my favourite booktubers, Steph from Steph Loves. Hands up if you know Steph, hands up if you're subscribed to Steph, and hands up if you love Steph's 24 hour reading challenges, because I do. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, is, right, obviously from the title, I am going to be taking some of Steph's Facebook's books of all time. Well, maybe of this year. Just to select a select few here, okay? I've popped them into a spinner wheel and I'm going to spin and I'm going to read for 24 hours. So it's just going to be exactly the same way she normally does it. 24 hour reading challenge. I'll get my iPad. I'll set the 24 hour timer. Every time I read, I set the timer. Every time I stop reading, I stop the timer. So it's just as simple as that. So let's get into what books I've chosen and why I'm really desperate to read them. I'm, I'm actually excited for every single one of these. One thing about Steph is, is our reading tastes align so much. Like 80% of her reading is literally, I, I go out and buy a book when she recommends it. Book calls, unhauls, everything. Just, yeah, we, we do tend to like exactly the same sort of things and I have noticed that recently. So, Yes, what books am I going to be reading? So first of all, again, as I say, it's a spinner wheel decide. So they're in no particular order. They're in the spinner wheel. I'm going to do the first spin for you guys now, but after I've talked to you about the books. But first one we're going to be reading, hopefully, is Gideon the Ninth, which is the first in this series by Tamsin Muir. If you haven't seen her vlogs of her reading this series, I'm not sure actually if she's read the third. I know she's definitely continued on to Howard the Ninth. But she absolutely love this one floppy paperback got this love it and basically it just says the most fun you'll ever have with a skeleton Tamsin Muir's Gideon the Ninth unveils the solar system of swordplay cut through politics and lesbian necromancers her characters leap off the page as skillfully animated as necromantic skeletons the result is heart-pounding epic science fantasy sign me up as Steph would say, I am here for that one. Next up, I have a manga, which if you haven't seen her 24 in 24 manga, then again, go and watch her video. But I was gifted this by the lovely Claire over in Claire's Creative Corner. It is Cat Gamer 1, which I'm really excited about. And as far as I'm aware, this is about our main character who basically has no friends, works in an office job and somebody comes into the office one day and says I have a cat, it's a stray, does anybody want it and she takes it home and it's about their adventures together, she, her basically learning how to look after the cat and using her gaming knowledge. So Cat Gamer Volume 1 which I'm very excited about, how cute is the cover of that one. Then we do have one that she absolutely raves about. I, I've had this for a while now and I really really need to get to it so I have got A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle Jensen. Guys look beautiful spray copy but we have this one. I think this is something to do with maybe Norse mythology maybe not. Um, Her fate is inked in her blood it's carved in her bones this part is Freya's destiny. So yeah a woman blessed by the gods battles to unite a, no a nation under a power hungry king with fighting her growing desire for his very son in this Norse inspired fantasy romance. So Norse romance, yep, here for it. This isn't specifically one that I know that she absolutely loves at the moment, but it is for her Patreon Body Read um, book club. I am on her Patreon and this is for the book club and we will be reading When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. This is for I think July and August, so I need to get my skates on. It's a chunker dunker. It just says he's far in brimstone. I'm shattered ice. I'll gladly burn beneath him until the world comes crumbling down. That sounds amazing. And as an assassin for the rebellion, Reeve's job is to complete orders and never get caught. When a rival bounty hunter shatters her world, Reeve finds herself captivated by the Guild of Nobles, a group of powerful fae. Best selling sensation when the moon hatch will transport you into a world filled with magic dragons and a love that blazes through the ages. 
buzzwords right there for me then another one we have is by a favorite romance author of Steph's and I will be reading hopefully yours truly by Abby Jimenez guys I haven't read any of Abby Jimenez yet I do have just for the summer yeah just for the summer on my shelves as well I'm not sure if Steph's actually read that one yet but I know that she definitely loved this and spoke about it in her faves of the year so I will be definitely reading this a novel of terrible first impressions hilarious second chances and the joy in finding the perfect match so sounds fab sorry about the lighting situation it's august it's summer it's meant to be bright it's meant to be sunny but it's not it's very miserable today so just take what you can get um next so three more left three more they're on the spin wheel as i said there's sorry four left one that i want to talk to you about that's on kendall that she recently read read and absolutely loved is pictured here it is night shift and yeah I'm really really excited for this one she raved about it and absolutely loved it so another romance on the tbr see how many romances we're going to get through this 24 hour challenge i then also have check and mate by ali hazelwood which she recently read again in a vlog and absolutely loved it uh mallory greenleaf is done with chess every move counts nowadays after the sport led to the destruction of her family four years earlier mallory's focus is on her mom her sisters and the dead end job that keeps the lights on that is until she begrudgingly agrees to play in one last char charity tournament and inadvertently wipes the board with notorious king killer nolan sawyer current world champion and reigning bad boy of chess don't need to know any more of that another manga i do have the attack on titan omnibus which is volume one so it's volume one two and three not saying that i'm going to get through all of this in this vlog but if it is if it does come up i'll read volume one if it comes up again i'll leave it on the spin if it comes up again i'll read volume two and so on and so on and so on so really excited for this really excited to have this copy and then lastly uh ya that she had only recently read and i think it inspired her to read getting the ninth after she read this one this has been compared to getting the ninth and game of thrones which mm, game of thrones is one of my faves of all time it is the bonesmith by nikki paul prada Popretto, sorry about the lighting again just this is stunning absolutely beautiful what do you see this it's not gorgeous so yeah, ready, ready your blade, defeat the undead. So that sounds amazing. Yeah, get in the ninth meets Game of Thrones White Walkers in this dark young adult fantasy about a disgraced ghost fighting warrior who must journey into a haunted wasteland to rescue a kidnap kidnapped prince. Sounds amazing. So first of all, we need to get the spin wheel. So I'm going to put it up here for you guys and I'm going to show you it. Okay. Um, you will see it beside me. I am going to screen record as I am talking and yeah, let's get on with it. What is our first? Oh my goodness me. Okay. So we have Attack on Titan volume one. So just let me get that one for you guys, two wee seconds. Okay, so Attack on Titan it is. Oh, okay, this is going to kick off nicely actually because, yeah, I can probably get to this today. I meant to say to you as well, it's actually Sunday. It's Sunday now and I'm off work for the next four days. So I have plenty of time to be reading and I'm in the library. I've been doing a wee bit of a tidy up. I'm getting ready for autumn coming in for fall and i'm gonna go over to the shops and see if i can get some decorations and decorate the bookshelves and make the library pretty so i probably think because of no plans if nothing to do today tomorrow the next day the next day i'm going to kick on with the first volume of attack on titan and yeah very excited indeed
you guys okay so it's a bit of a time later and i've only been reading reading not for very long actually um there's still 23 hours and 25 minutes left on the clock but i want to come in and let you know you would have seen i have now finished attack on titan volume one out of the compendium and i'm moving on to when the moon hatched um by sarah a parker but i just want to come in and let you know that i absolutely love this one this was amazing it was so good like high stakes brutal in parts high action just oh my god for a manga it was just wow okay this is where we're at so i totally want to binge the other two volumes in this but i know i can't because it's a reading vlog and the spinner has decided my next read so i wanted to come in and let you know i'm going to give see the thing is i don't want to give it too high a rating because then if i read the second volume and it's even better then how to go higher than a five star do you know what i mean so i'm going to give this one four and a half stars right and then i'll go through the second and third volume hopefully in this vlog and if it's if they're not as good or better then i'll adjust the scoring but four and a half stars for the first volume of attack on titan cannot wait to get back into this one i am so excited and now i am going to go into when the moon hatch by sarah a parker which i'm really excited for now this is a chunky boy and i think what i'm going to do is just for the purposes of this vlog i think i'm going to there are let me see how many pages there are i have a funny feeling this is going to take me four or five days to complete this so there's 550 pages in this one so what i think i'm going to do is is i'm going to try and read 150 pages a day throughout this 24 hour timer challenge and i'm going to time it obviously and once i hit my 150 pages for today i am going to spin to read something else and i'm going to come back to this on the daily and just keep reading so i think that's what the the plan's going to be it is such a big one i don't want to take up too much of the vlog just reading this one and i do have it on audiobook i think through bookbeat or everend i can't remember so that's going to help me out massively when i'm walking novak and all that good stuff but at the minute i just want to get cracking on 150 pages i'm in a forest with the lovely rebecca at the moment we've set a three hour so i do want i do intend on doing quite a lot of reading today so yes this is the next one i'm going to be reading and just to give you an overview of what it's about then as an assassin for the rebellion reeve's job is to complete orders and never get caught when a rival bounty hunter shatters her world reeve finds herself captured by the guild of nobles a group of powerful fae crushed crushed by the loss of his great love dragon rider cam vigor took the head of a king and donned his melted crown now in a tarot's quest to quell the never ebbing ache in his in his chest a, ch a clue lures him into the capital's high security prison where he stumbles upon the imprisoned reef together they seek truths that threaten to unravel everything they know they knew about their world and each other that sounds amazing the moon fell series book one so as i mentioned earlier on this one is the patreon body read pick for steph's patreon book club and it's i think it's july and august pick so i do want to read this by the end of august which is perfect for this vlog because yeah, we still have a week left of August um, at the moment, just under a week. So, yeah, first of all, per first order of the day is 150 pages of this one. And then I'll probably come in and update you when I'm done. Just a quick introduction just to say that I'm logging in now for my Sunday evening Indie Author Roundtable. So if you didn't know, sorry I just brushed my teeth, if you didn't know I am hosting weekly Indie Author Roundtables where I invite some indie authors onto my channel. It's a very informal chat just like having a cup of tea with friends and I've already hosted two over the last two weeks. This is the third one this evening. And I'm just going to go live at 8 o'clock. It's 10 to 8 now and I'm going to go live and I'm going to chat to them for about an hour or so. But the last two have gone really, really well and really, really pleased. Next week I'm going to have to reschedule because I am now working on Friday, which is when, when it was scheduled for the 30th. And I'm also working Sunday, so I'm going to have to sort something out with my lovely author friends. But yeah, just coming in to let you know, I yeah will come in with the reading update probably before I go to bed this evening. But I think... The reading so far today has gone well and yeah i'm really 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 excited for this author round table my 
story ideas so far is I've just been, I've asked myself, you know, what, what am I most excited about? And then that's where I start. Morning. Good morning, guys. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> where do I begin? Okay. It is currently Thursday, <laughs> Thursday morning. I'm working from home. Hear me out. Okay. I think the last time I spoke to you on this reading vlog was Sunday evening. I had started when the moon hatched which I'm currently now 192 pages into but guys the last I think I told you I was off until today I was off for four days I didn't read anything for this vlog in those four days I have to be transparent and tell you and tell the truth I did not read anything so yes I'm coming in this morning I'm currently working from home it's quarter to ten on Thursday morning I'm working all day until half five and then I'm going to walk Novak with my friend Maggie and then come home Aaron is currently off on sales calls down in Cork down south today he left a quarter to five this morning it's a three and a half hour trip down full day sales calls three and a half hours back so he's not going to be back till like 10 ish half nine ten o'clock this evening so I've pretty much a relatively quiet day I did get some mail from I think it's from America it looks like yeah so that just arrived and I wanted to unbox that with you guys but I think the last clip you saw was my author roundtable on Sunday evening which went absolutely amazing by the way. I have another one scheduled for Saturday so you'll probably see that in this vlog but today's plan is to work from home. I am so busy. I have so much admin reporting, mind numbing stuff to do today and tomorrow and I'm going to use today and tomorrow to crack on with this vlog so I do have when the moon hatched on audiobook I only have eight hours I think I'm 45 minutes on two times speed left so I'm going to crack on with that this morning and get as much of that done and dusted today and then I am going to spend this evening for my next read and yeah it's going to be amazing so yeah I'm back it's like nearly been a week no one has not it's only been a few days it feels like it's been longer so I'm back I'm here I did get some mail so let's open that guys I also got my nails done yesterday how do you do this I love them so yeah <coughs> bless me allergies have been bad but yes I've got my nails done reason being is it's my lovely nephew's christening next Sunday and they go with the dress that I got so I'm very excited and you know what everybody loves a bit of self-care so I'm just finding it really really hard because I don't wear nails very often to like do everyday mundane things like opening parcels so let's have a look oh look at this this looks good okay I knew this was coming actually okay so this is from Angry Robot thank you Caroline if you're watching I don't think you watch but this is book five. Okay, right. This is not a, this is not good. Mm. All right, so it is Armageddon, the Armageddon Protocol by Dan Morin. Now, they did say that they were sending us links to the digital for the first four in this. So have I just massively added to me my TBR? Yes, yes, I have. And I'm not going to talk about it because it's book number five and it'll give away the rest of the book so I don't even want to know but look at that it looks like a sci-fi sci it looks cool doesn't it I love it code word s-e-s-c-h-a-t-o-n -S abort without delay break all contact ditch trackable technology regroup no one expected the end of the world to start so close to home so yeah looks good doesn't it that's what came today very very excited indeed the galactic cold war book number four so I'll need to see with, I'll need to check with Caroline when that needs to be read and reviewed because obviously I'll have to read the first four before that time, which they are kindly gifting us on digital. So yeah, very excited about that. But yeah, just wanted to come in. Don't really know if you care that much that that came. But yeah, I'm still here. Lighting situation still is bad. But Main aim today, main goal is to get as far through when the moon hatch because I am at the stage where I want to pick it up and I'm really, really excited to find out what's going to happen. So that's what we're doing. Okay, guys, so we have these left plus night shift and I want to do a spin just to see night. Oh, 
happy day. It's brilliant. Should be easy to get through. Right, guys, sorry about how I'm looking. I'm in the house all day. It's raining. It's miserable. I'm not getting ready. I'm just working from home. So, night shift it is. I am so excited. I am actually going to start this. I'm probably going to read an hour of this lunch break. So, what's it about? I've heard so many good things about this. Um, the bookworm and the basketball player about basketball player are about to meet their match. Kendall Holiday spends her Friday nights exactly where she wants to be, with her head buried in a spicy romance novel while she works the graveyard shift at her university's library. Does anyone else think that that would be the most amazing job? Seriously. She knows she could join her friends for a weekend of drunken debauchery and college parties, but she likes her alone time, so she tells herself she isn't hiding when she gets lost in the pages of fictional love stories. But that all changes when Vincent Knight, captain of the basketball team, turns up with an injured wrist, a sore mood, and a pressing need for poetry recommendations for a class he hates. Vincent is tall, smart-mouthed, and challenges Kendall like no one has before. Suddenly, she's fallen headfirst into her very own romance novel, but it takes a lot more truth than tropes to get to happy ever after in real life. Oh my god! So, I'm just actually on Goodreads here, <laughs> and Steph has put her review on. I recently just watched Jade's weekly vlog, and she's read it, and she loved it as well. So... She's given this five stars, as we know, so I'm really, really excited for this one. I cannot wait. This is going to be a quick read, and it's going to give me a sense of achievement, and then I'm going to go back to The Moon That Hatched tomorrow. I know I'm obviously scaling it out over quite a few days, but it is the Patreon buddy read, and I do want to take it in, and I do want to sort of remember what's happening in it so that when the live show happens, I know, when, you know, I know what everybody's talking about in comments and different things, and all that good stuff but guys night shift i am so pleased i was i was actually hoping that this was going to come up before the end of this vlog so win-win situation for me so yeah next up is night shift i'll let you know how i'm getting on as i'm reading it So I've just been reading for I think 45 minutes. I'm going back off my lunch break now and I've just hit 50% in night shift. This is so quick paced, so easy to read. I'm on page 164 and what can I say about this book? It's actually smuttier than I thought. I know obviously Steph said that things happen very, very quickly, but it's really smutty oh my god like okay so we're following Kendall and she works in the library on a Friday evening so this first Friday he comes in basketball player he comes in and asks for some poetry as we know she takes him over and one thing leads to another they start kissing all that stuff that was quite a smutty scene as well then he goes off he leaves a note no he goes off and she goes off, she goes home, tells her friends. And then the following Friday, she's really ill. So she swaps her shift with one of the other early shift guys and goes in the following Wednesday. But she finds out that there's been a note left for her from him and he wants her to tutor him. So they meet up and she tutors him and she has no clue what's going on. And then she goes to this party for his birthday. And oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. Anyway, without giving any spoilers, that scene was amazing. I've just got to be at 164. I have to go back to work and all I want to do is read the rest of this. I reckon I could get this done within the next hour, but I don't have time. <laughs> I have to work today. So 
I'm going to get back to I cannot believe I have read 164 pages in 45 minutes, just over 45 minutes. I am currently at 19 hours and 7 minutes on the timer. So I have been reading for 5 hours for this vlog. I am going to finish this one, literally. And yeah, I'm going to finish this one when I finish work at half 5. And then I'm going to take Novak out for a walk with Maggie. That's the plan. Oh my god. <laughs> sitting here like <gasps> this is so well written as well it's not awkward it's not like oh god here we go there's no eye rolling it's just really really good <gasps> oh I am totally here for it all right guys so I've taken night shift off what's next oh my god <laughs> Fourth wing it is. It's going to be the audio, I think. It's another chunky boy. Right, let me get it. Two seconds. Right, guys, sorry. I, I look really bad today. Anyway, finished up. Five stars. Five freaking stars. Oh, my God. Vincent and Kendall we need to protect them at all costs oh my god that book was amazing i finished it i have finished it oh my god five stars favorite of the year <laughs> or is it not sure so yes finished it loved it i'll gush about it at the end of the month in my wrap up but i've done another spin and i can't believe it i've got another chunky boy i've got fourth wing so <laughs> finally gonna get to this one i started it and i think i only got like maybe not even 30 or 40 pages into it when it first came out and then never went back to it so this is my time to shine welcome to the brutal and the elite world of basket war college i think this was steph's favorite of last year it is currently her profile photo on youtube as far as i can remember so yeah this is the next one i oh my god this sits so flush I am going to finish work now. I think I'm going to stick the audiobook on because I have it on the library and on Everend. So I'm going to put the, the audiobook on for this one and try and get, get a ways into it before I go out for the walk with Maggie at quarter to seven, half six, quarter to seven. So yeah, I'm in the middle of two chunky boys, but it's going to be fine. We'll get there. Graduate or die. Woo! Very excited indeed. But yeah, night shift. If you not have not read it, I employ you employ you. It's two ninety nine on Kindle at the moment. Bargain, get it read. It was fantastic. Guys, okay, so it is half five on Saturday the thirty first of August. How are we all doing? I haven't read since I last updated you. I went into the office yesterday and I showed you a clip of me walking back at lunchtime and that was it. I worked a 17 hour day yesterday. I was in the office from quarter to eight until half five and then the garage from six to 11. I was busted. Today it's been like 25 degrees outside and all I've done is sit with Arne's family and play out in the back garden with the kids and just have a great day. So no reading has been done. I'm going to come in the, on this clip. I'm going to pick another book for this Steph Leaves blog, vlog because I haven't even touched fourth wing yet. I want to try and get this vlog up by Monday so I want to something shorter and just to try and get me back into reading again I feel like I'm falling into a slump so I'm going to show you also a big haul from the last two days yesterday I came home from a 17 hour day to five books two authors and day blog tours and three that I gifted myself and then I also got one other that had gone missing last month that I asked for again I got it back so I'm going to go over that big haul with you in a second but here we are i'm going to bring the spin wheel up and we are going to take fourth wing off i will read it but i don't know if i'm going to read it for this i don't know if i'm going to read it for this vlog because 
I just don't know if I have the time. So let me just take it off the spin wheel two seconds. Guys, it has been absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, the weather has just been so amazing. Um, it's always when the kids go back to school. I don't know about you guys where you are, but here we go. Here is the spin wheel and I'm gonna spin. Sorry if you can't see it very well, but what did we get? A fading in blood. <laughs> Guys, seriously, I wanted to get something a bit shorter. Oh my God. A fading in blood. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Fading in blood, you can see it there. All right. <laughs> right now, I am getting ready to log in for another author roundtable. I have three lovely authors um, meet me um, online. I usually do it on a Friday or a Sunday every week. This is the last day of end of August, so I thought it was only fitting to do it today. I was working last night and working tomorrow night, so I couldn't fit it in. But guys, I am a very, very excited indeed. This is going to be the last one, definitely for August. And I've got some really cool authors joining me. So that's from six till seven. But listen, the book call, so I'm really distracted. First of all, Stephen King, the, the Dark Tower. I got the first in the Dark Tower Gunslinger, which is in the covers of what I have been collecting. So, bit of background on why I got some Amazon. Me and Aaron changed insurance cover with a different company at the start of the year. And after seven months, six months, you receive a £75 Amazon voucher. Oh, nice. And we got it during the week and yeah we're going halfers so Harn's got 37.50 and I've got 37.50 so I decided to treat myself I got myself three books which I'm going to go over now and then I'm going to show you the others but just the first one is one finally that I wanted to read The Gunslinger it's the first in the series I think there are one two three four five six seven there's eight in the series so if I like this I'm going to continue on buying them then one that I have actually on Net Galley, which is one that I've been really anticipating all year. I decided just to get it with that money from Amazon. I wanted to have a physical copy. It is The Last Shield by Cameron Johnston, which just looks epic, looks amazing. Action-packed ride filled with clashing battles, unforeseen betrayals, inventive deaths, evil magic, and one very badass commander of shields. Epic fun. How cool does that sound? Gritty, action-packed, and cease ceaselessly clever really excited for this one the only thing is guys it's one of those real tight american copies it's from angry robot and yeah i might actually still read that on kindle anyway but just have that copy and then actually for this vlog i might add this into the spin wheel because i don't feel like i'm ever going to get this vlog done i'm having fun but i'm just i don't have time to read which is really annoying but i got this on the recommendation again from steph's 24 and 24 manga video it is Alice in Borderlands, the first volume, volume one. Um, how cool does that look? I love it. 18 year old Ryoi Arusi is sick of his life. School sucks, his love life is a joke and his future feels like impending doom. As he struggles to exist in a world that can't be bought with him, Rahari feels like everything would be better if he were ever anywhere else. When a stranger, strange fireworks show transports him and his friends to a parallel world, Rahari thinks all his wishes have come true. But this new world isn't an empty paradise, it's a vicious game and the only way to survive is to play. Doesn't that sound really good? And I just oh, I love the... Um, the artwork and stuff in this one so i'm really excited to have that one another one to add to my growing manga shelf all because of steph from steph loves then i have two from i'll go through this one actually so i think yeah angry robot Car caroline and angry Rob robot had sent out an email about six weeks ago seven weeks ago asking did anybody want a copy of the book two of stephen arian's um the nightingale the Fal falcon um series so the first one pictured here is the blood blood dim, dimmed tide i think it's called it's blue um and i had gone back and said yes she says okay we've got one ready to go out of the warehouse whatever it never came so i emailed her during the week and she has been wonderful and she has sent me the book two second copy so to have finished copies of both of them the blood dimmed tide 
I'm not gonna read again this is angry robot this is really like yeah but i'm not going to read into any of it but look at this beautiful cover this came today this came this morning whenever i was out getting novak from his groom so i'm really excited to have that because that's the second in the series and i have both finished copies and then these two are from in the authors um they arrived for i am participating in um blog tours for indie book tours which is wonderful the lovely chelsea and lisa and the first one, which is coming up very, very shortly, I'm not sure of the date, but the first one is The Dark Town, sorry, Dark Town, level one of Dragon's Crawl, Tales of Temerity, a fantasy lit RPG adventure. So it just says part cosy, part bloody, all fun. A fun read, like playing a game. But I just wanted to show you this one, guys. So what do you say? The thing that I love the most about indie authors are, look at the beautiful pictures. Like, what do you see this here? I'll show you another one like look at that and then what else is there look at that one aren't they just absolutely stunning look at that so i'm really going to enjoy this i know this is definitely in september i think it might be the 10th i'll actually pop it, pop it down on screen so that you can head over to my twitter on the date because i'm going to be reviewing this for them this is by palmer pelt pickering and then lastly the glorious tale and epic tale of lady isovar which is this one again i cure is this love it valor by the bucket load lady isavar is a mighty and supremely confident knight errant who tends to leap into adventure with both feet and then track it all over the rug chefson her long-suffering squire and companion is a former student of stone made magic who spends most of his time keeping his mistress from causing enthusiasm related injury to innocent bystanders a tragic turn of events has sent them far from home where they roam the countryside right and wrongs smitten miscreants Dispose, dispose, deposing despots and taunting their foes, often with seriously questionable one-liners. This new life is more than enough for Izzy, but Chevson wants mo nothing more than to set right what he harmed a long time, time ago. Following clues to sites of ancient power, they might just achieve his aim, that is, if they are murdered, dismembered, devoured, executed, roasted, or derailed by Izzy's bravado first. This one just sounds amazing as well. I'm really excited for this. This is by Dave Dobson. Oh my god, this sounds amazing. Yeah, so yeah, those are the two that I'm very, very excited for. For the up and coming indie blog tours. So yeah, really excited. That was, sorry, why is that not focusing on me? Oh, well done. Oh, two seconds, sorry. There we go, sorry. So yeah really excited just logging in now sorry about that really long update this has been like nearly 10 minutes but i want to update you and let you know what's happening i have the moon that hatched a fair egg blood and fourth wing <laughs> on the tbr oh my god seriously do you know what i might do Actually, I'm going to take an executive decision. I'm going to read another volume of Attack on Titan. Uh, my game, my rules. I'm going to read another volume of Attack on Titan, second volume. And then I'm going to go into... I'm going to try and read Fourth Wing. And then I'm going to do another Attack on Titan. And then I'm going to go into A Fading in Blood. And guys, if it kills me, I'm going to get this timer down. The timer is currently on... 18 hours and th 34 minutes. I am nowhere near finishing this this vlog. This has turned into a book haul vlog and not much reading vlog, literally. I have only finished Attack on Titan. No, I, I read Night Shift, actually. I've read two books. Well, a book and a half, if you want to say. But yeah, I need to get my bloody damn arson gear. So that's what we're going to do. So yes, it's Saturday now. I, I'm going to do this author live show. I'm going to get a Chinese with Arn. I'm going to get a takeout, watch a film. Probably finished around about half nine, ten. And then I'm going to get stuck into Attack on Titan and then Fourth Wing. That's the plan. So wish me luck. And I'll see you on the other side. Guys, I've definitely got the sun on my head. Can you see? Can you see my head? It's red. And also I'm in dire need of a haircut and a hair colour. <gasps> 15 minutes to go. Currently, here is my view from my office. Sorry about the candle, this is where my camera sits, but how cute. It's beautiful weather. Read it 
it so far, and it's been really fun to hear from them and everything like that. Um, so I'm really excited and enjoying it while also being a mess of anxiety. Um, Spurs, Vicario, Adoki, Dragerson, Romero, and Poro. Uh, Madison, Basuma, and Saar. Odebert, Son, and Kunisevsky. Uh, obviously Guys, change of plan. Hear me out. It's currently 25 past 10 on Sunday evening. It's the 1st of September. This lighting is atrocious. It's really, really dark. But, change of plan. I started Abby Jimenez's Yours Truly. I just couldn't bring myself to read any of those Junker Dunkers. So, a fourth wing, Fade Inked in Blood, and The Moon That Hatch, which I'm actually quite a bit through. Anyway, started this one earlier on. I only got 42 pages in, right? But on the clock, I have got got the clock down a good bit. Hold on a wee second. I am currently on. Let me go in. Sorry, I'm just back from work. By the way, I have a 14 hours and one minute. So what I'm going to do is, Arn is watching a bit of a movie downstairs. So I'm going to read for an hour. I'm going to set a forest with Rebecca, and I'm going to try and read for an hour and get a wee bit more ways through this. Now I do have this as an audiobook on Everend or but be one of the two so whilst I work I'm working from home tomorrow long shift and then I'm in the garage tomorrow night again but I'm going to try and finish this off and get get my hours racked up so this is this is what I'm going for I needed something quick fast paced light hearted didn't need to think about not too epic fantasy all that good stuff so I've definitely found it with this one. I have not read any Abby Hibbenes books yet before, ever. I do have Just for Summer as well, but this was on Steph's Faves of the Year. So, a novel of terrible first impressions, hilarious second chances and the joy in finding the perfect match. Dr. Brianna Hortez's life is seriously flatlining. Her divorce is just about finalised. Her brother's running out of time to find a kidney donor and that promotion she wants. Oh, that's probably going to the new man doctor who's already registering 80 friggin' 7 on Brianna's pain in my ass scale. But just when all systems are set to hate, Dr. Jacob Maddox completely flips the game by sending Brianna a letter. It's a, rare, it's a really good letter, like the kind that proves that Jacob isn't actually Satan. Worse, he might be this fantastically funny and subversively likeable guy who's terrible at first impressions. Suddenly he and Brie are exchanging notes and sharing lunch dates in her sub closet. When Jacob turns out to be the perfect donor for her brother, Brie starts to realise that this quality, quietly sexy new doctor might just be her perfect match too. So, I'm only a few chapters in, obviously, 40 odd pages, but we have, we have met both. What I enjoy about this is... There's there's the two POVs, so each chapter is one is from Brianna and one is from Jacob. So you're getting their sort of back and forwards and their thoughts and feelings and all that good stuff. So he's basically just started in this ER and he's come from as he's come as a um sort of chief sort of nurse manager doctor from a different hospital. We don't know why he's come to this hospital, but he is basically vying for the same position as what Brianna is. Brianna wants to take her job to the next level and all that good stuff so basically he comes in and he has like eight deaths or something that day and they call him Dr Death and she meets him and doesn't like him like automatically doesn't like him and he's just like okay and then he finds out about her brother she he's in the hospital that Brianna and him work in and Brianna is basically looking after him and assisting him and, and nurse to him and he finds out what's happening and then he speaks to the doctor he's good friends with the doctor who's also treating Brianna's brother and is like do you think I could be a donor blah 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 so this is basically all I've found out so far and um, they've met a couple of times there's been a couple of exchanges and Brianna doesn't like him she's gone through a divorce and yeah pretty much everything's a bit mad oh hello Novak Novak's here so yeah that's pretty much where we're at and I have to say <laughs> I am loving this writing style so so easy to get through and just so easy to read and yeah I'm gonna see if I can get maybe at least another 100 pages in and then I will finish it off in the morning but guys let me just let me just apologise. Literally, this has been the busiest week of my life. I was off for three days of this week. And then the end of the week just hit me like a friggin' train, like a bus. I did not know what happened, but reading didn't happen. So I'm going to try. I wanted to get this video up tomorrow. Actually, Monday for Monday I'm scheduled, but I'm just going to have to put something else up, so it's fine. 
Um, but it's not going to happen. It's going to be Thursday now. So, <laughs> yes, this is the longest 24 hour challenge I have ever filmed in my whole entire life. But, well, you know, we'll get there. It's fine. I have 14 hours to go. Um, I'm going to try and get a good headway and I'm going to try and knock my pan in tomorrow and get that down at least under 10 hours i want to i want to i want to be listening to i want to finish listening to yours truly tomorrow that's the goal and then if i need to maybe try and start another book i can maybe start with fourth wing actually on audio as well after but like i'm going to talk about that tomorrow because things just change but i'm keeping to the tbr at least which is good but yeah gonna sit now for an hour gonna get into pajamas get cozy and yeah Hopefully I still continue to enjoy this. This is a five star prediction for me. Hey guys finished it and I'm giving this five stars oh my god I cried my eyes out at the end of this oh my god I cried like a baby this was like this was amazing I feel like I've actually done myself over I've made a boo-boo because this is the second sort of part in I think it's the three books, Yours Truly, no, sorry, Part of Your World is first and then Yours Truly and then Just for the Summer, quote me if I'm wrong, but I think that there's crossovers between characters from Part of Your World and I've never read it, but Brianna, Jacob, protect these two people at all costs, their parents, their siblings, their friends, their family, every single person. Oh my God, Brianna's brother Benny going through dialysis and Jacob struggles with stress and it was just, oh my God, this book was amazing. Abby Jimenez, you are literally, oh, this was amazing. Sorry, I'm going to gush about it for the rest of my life now. <laughs> I think this could actually be the best book I've read this year. I'm not even joking you, literally, and it's a romance. I mean, how is that possible? But yes, finally finished up. I think I haven't got my phone on me, but I've about 11 and a half hours left on the timer. So I think what I'm going to go into, I can't, I just cannot believe how much I enjoyed this. This is amazing. I sat and read 280 pages this afternoon. Oh my God. Yes, I did. So I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get some dinner with Arne and then I'm going to read another volume of Attack on Titan. Get the timer down maybe by another hour. Take me down to maybe 10, nine and a half hours, which is amazing. And then over the next couple of days, I'm going to finish this vlog. I'm going to finish this timer challenge. But, oh my God. I need to immediately buy part of your world. Like literally, it's come down in price actually on Amazon. So I think I'm just going to buy it. So cue probably book mail in the next couple of days. But so glad I read this one. It's the next day. How are we all doing? So last night I completed Cat Gamer Volume 1 and I gave this one four stars. This was wonderful. This is so good. Oh, I, the more and more I read for this vlog, the more I know I'm aligned with Steph's reading taste because this has been either a four or five star vlog so far for me and I'm just really, really pleased. This one was so cute. Look at this lovely cat. So yeah basically we meet our main character who is a geek who loves to game who is an introvert doesn't sort of do anything outside work she goes into the office every day and she's invited out on nights out and she doesn't go and one day the security guard comes in and says i have found this stray cat would anybody like to take it and for some unknown reason she decides to take the cat, the kitten, and she uses her game of knowledge to look after the cat. And it's pretty cool because we do have slides at sort of bonus chapters, they're called. Um, let me see if I can find one here, actually, of the cat talking. 
and the kitten talking and it's very 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 cute just here and then we go on to the next page it's called chapter two bonus stage where we hear from the kitten's pov and it's very very cute indeed and it's really really good i'm definitely going to be continuing on with this one rico 29 year old office worker i'm definitely going to be continuing on with this one i really want to get myself my hands on the second volume like right now so i may actually just give myself it today and yeah i'm really really pleased let's see what we're on on the timer we have 11 hours and three minutes to go i am working from home all day today it's currently 8:42 on thursday morning and aaron has just gone to a work show down in dublin for the day and he's going out to meet some customers with one of the other guys in work so he's not going to be home till like half seven eight o'clock so other than me and novak at home working from home nothing's really happening today so what i'm going to try and do is is i'm going to try and see if i can get the audio for one of the books that's on my tbr uh, do you know what i think i'm actually gonna listen to fourth wing I have it on my Libby app and I think I can do it. So yeah, 11 hours left. Hopefully gonna finish that by tomorrow. Fingers crossed tomorrow. And then yeah, we'll see if we can get this uploaded by Saturday. It's now Thursday, that is my aim. So yeah, really pleased I read this one and can't wait to continue on. just start the timer in the morning and let it run until the evening. And I'm actually gonna film a video of TikTok for it instead and do it that way around. So I'm hoping to get loads of reading done this weekend. I do still have obviously the Hey guys, hey, so it's a little bit later on. It's coming up to three o'clock. I'm actually going to take Novak out another walk, a big massive walk with Maggie, my lovely friend. So she just texted her and was like, do you want to go to walk? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. So yes, I have done a complete and utter 360. I was supposed to be reading Fourth Wing for this vlog. That's not happening. I am literally 186 pages into Check and Mate, which is another favourite by Ali Hazelwood of Steph's. And Oh my god, to say I'm enjoying this one is an understatement. This is all I have left to read. And the timer is currently at, I think, 8 hours and 20 minutes. So I'm going to fly through this and then I probably will finally get to fourth wing. But I just saw I fancied something just a bit easy reading. And this one is absolutely fantastic. It's about our main character, Mallory Greenleaf, who lives a life of basically her mum's very ill and her dad passed away and she is at home looking after her siblings trying to make ends meet money's tight everything that has to go along with basically being a an adult very very quickly and having to grow up very very quickly and her whole life all she's done is play chess she lives and breathes chess but before her dad died she decided to give it all up and took a job went to school took a job as a car mechanic and then basically she loses that job at the very start of the book and she has to go back into the chess world and meets our grumpy sunshine sort of other main character Nolan who is basically the number one world champion of chess in the world and he lives an extravagant life completely opposite to everything Mallory lives and the two butt heads the two come together they play in the Olympics team and yeah it's basically their story of meeting getting to know each other all that good stuff and Mallory really growing up and falling back in love with Chess. There is a backstory, there's quite a few backstories actually from Mallory and from Nolan as well and it's just, yeah, it's just Ali, Ali Hazelwood at her finest. I've actually been posting this on socials today and a lot of people have recommended I Read Bride by Ali Hazelwood which I do have on my shelves and it's just something I haven't gotten to it. I haven't really gravitated towards it. It's actually sitting over there I can see it now. Um, so I think maybe once this vlog is done I may look into adding that 
to the TBR for September, but we'll see. But yeah, really, really enjoying this one. I am going to go for this quick walk with, well, this long walk with Maggie. It's usually about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish this one off and we'll see where the timer's at and see what I need to read. I've still got a few, quite a few books here actually, but they're all chunky fantasy, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but yeah. Really enjoying this one. Can't believe how fast paced and how much I spent through it. And yeah, I'll chat to you later on. Guys, yes, I've got a good few updates for you. How are we all doing? Hopefully it's good. We are having the best weather of September this week. It's 23 degrees outside and it was literally nil and void. We were in winter. It was bad. You know when you get that sort of, it's hot one day and then the next day it's just freezing and then you're into autumn and spring and winter, whatever, excuse me. That's where we were, but we have been told by the news people and the weathermen that we have got a heat wave this week in Northern Ireland so we definitely have got one but listen I'm going to give you a reading update quickly in a second guys I've just got home from the office to two parcels so we're going to open them together because we know we love to do these things I have been had been, I had been saying no to a lot of the sort of publisher mail and author mail and reviews and different things for the past wee while just because I am still semi going through a bit of a rough time it is still quite not good here at the moment but I didn't really have a lot of time to sort of you know um give to written and it, it has shown because I haven't read hardly anything bar for this vlog for Steph's vlog I'm so excited guys look at this if I can just look at that, isn't that stunning? I think I know what this is, you know. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes, okay, so we have a bookmark for Pocket of Lies, which is the first in this series. This is my physical copy of the second book in this series. Oh my god! Okay, Barbs. I love your YouTube video where you were very complimentary about a pocket of lies. It was so, so kind. Thanks for being a great supporter of indie, uh, of indie authors. Looking forward to your DMs when you get round to reading this. I hope you love it. Love, Rachel. <gasps> oh, this is stunning. Oh, my God. Let me just open up. Do you know what, actually? Give me a second here. Hold on. I'm going to take a quick photo and I'm going to come back. Photo done. Right. So, just going to open this up. It's a sin to open this because it's so beautifully packaged. Oh, oh my god. This matches the first. And it is a finished copy. Oh my god. Emma Fire Book 2. A Promise of Blood by Rachel R.A. Sandpaper. Guys, oh my god. I am so... I cannot believe I have this. And look. She's time stamped at 5th of 8th of the 8th arc, 16th of the 9th, 2024. Look, there's a map. Oh my god. I, I, do you know what? I actually, oh my god. Oh my god. I've got the second. Amazing. Rachel, if you're watching this, which I think you probably will, thank you so, so much. This is like so kind. So. Oh my god, like literally what's gonna top that? This big parcel. So let me just get some scissors. Um and I'll pop this out because you don't want to watch me opening this, do you? Oh wow, look at this! Oh my god, who's this from? <gasps> Whoa, what is this? I did not know this was all coming. <gasps> Okay, so, oh my God. Seriously, guys. Okay, so. This is from the author Vega Castro. So this is a bookmark. We have this. And then all of the backlists from this author. We have a signed book plate. We have two books, guys. Two books. A magnetic sort of. This is going to go on my TBR cart. We have spooky Halloween sweeties. We have a sticker. Oh my God, this is amazing. Did I sign up for this? Another sticker, which is going to go on my TBR cart. See, And the two books. 
I have definitely heard of this one. Guys, have you seen this one? The Haunting of Ale Alejandra. I have heard of this one. I don't remember. A woman is haunted by the Mexican folk demon La Lorena in this ravishing and provocative literary horror novel about motherhood, family legacy and self-discovery. Guys, I've got this one. And then also, her, it must be a, uh -huh, another one. I've got this one. Um, Immortal Pleasures. Oh my God, look at this one. It says, an ancient Aztec vampire roams the modern world in search of vengeance and love in this seductive dark fantasy from the author of the haunting of Alejandra. <gasps> look at this. I don't remember asking for this, but you know, I'm here for it. These are definitely two that are going on my October TBR. Guys, this is amazing. Look at all of this wonderful book mail that I've received today. This is unreal. Like, I don't deserve this, but I also love it. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, I'm just speechless. Absolutely speechless. What a wonderful, wonderful day. Hold on. What a wonderful day. Oh my God. This has been cracker. Right, I'm gonna go and get my book because I need to update you. Give me a second. Okay, guys, so a little focus. We need to talk. I am pretty much coming in to wrap up this vlog. Can you believe it? Let's all clap, Barb. Woo! So I finished checking, mate, um, yesterday. Four and a half stars. This was fantastic i really really love this one i am not really in my romance era at the moment if ever i don't really read a lot of romances but this vlog has been amazing for the romances that i have read this was great i loved grumpy sunshine i loved sort of enemies to lovers but not really they just didn't know each other i loved the backstory of our main character malray i loved the tension between the two of them i loved the side characters her family everything that was going on there and this one just packed a punch it wasn't just a romance at the end of the day there was so much more to it and i really really enjoyed it so i finished that one four and a half stars and then i went on and i read the rest of the omnibus for attack on titan to run the clock down to zero so i think i had like three and a half minutes left something like that I have not now read this whole omnibus volumes one to three and guys oh my god i need to read on so i think i remember steph saying that they're on kindle unlimited so i think i'm going to see if i can get them downloaded and continue on with them over the next few months i am so so excited this is a five star series already for me arn is actually talking about watching the the anime or whatever it is on um Crunchyroll or wherever it is uh, we have all of the episodes and I think we are going to pretty much watch Attack on Titan I'm really really excited for it so yeah pretty much that's me done <laughs> I don't think I gave anything that I read less than four stars everything was four four and a half or five and the only thing that I can say at the end of this video is me and I do I have always felt that me and Steph have had the same sort of reading tastes and a lot of her recommendation videos I would find that I've read either the books or I've gone on to read them and have absolutely loved them and I just think that me and Steph are just aligned with what we enjoy and this reading vlog has taken a long time just because of personally things have been going on and it's taken me three weeks three and a half weeks to you know obviously get the clock down on 24 hours but i have had so much fun so much fun reading for this i've had so much fun picking titles yes i spun at the start and then decided no actually i'm just gonna go and mood read and i have read some of the probably the best books that i've read this year and i do have steph the lovely steph to thank for that so yes this was even though three and a half weeks long it was an absolute win-win for me so I definitely think I might do this for other booktubers in the future but Steph had to be the first because you know she's my favourite at the moment so why not and I knew that 
I would probably have some really good rates within this vlog. So yeah, pretty much. But I know it's been a long one. Anyway, Steph always has like 50 minutes to an hour, to an hour and a half. So, you know, in keeping with her vlogs, it is a long one. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. It's Tuesday the 17th of September. I started this on August 26th, but we'll not talk about that. It was good fun and hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because I am hopefully going to settle myself down where I will be posting consistently again and getting my, I feel like I've got my love for reading. I'm still not reading as much as I normally do, but I feel like I'm really excited for what's to come the rest of this year and into 2025. So yes, thank you so much for watching to the end. If you got here, let me know what you thought and yeah, I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye.